Okay, is this person what you envisioned in your mind when you no. heard them speaking? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I was like, I was there, I wasn't there though. I was close, but I was, I was so far away. Hi, I'm Jakia Turnquest. I am 23 years old. I am a banker and my zodiac sign is a Sagittarius. One of the biggest pet peeves I have in a relationship is bad communication. But one of the things that I do desire and look for in a guy when pursuing a relationship is they must be a follower of Christ because once that happens, they are able to lead me as we grow together mentally, spiritually, emotionally and all of that. Uh, good day, my name is Jonathan McLean. I am 22, my sign is Aquarius. Um, for a job, I'm self-employed. I actually own my own business. Uh, when it comes to a relationship, I think my biggest pet peeve is, um, I think, a lack of maturity and understanding. And one thing that I would look for in a partner is communication. Communication is like very important in not just relationships, but all around friendships. And poor com communication could lead to a lot of fuck-ups. Are you ready? <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Interesting. <laughs> What's up? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> How are you doing behind that thing? I don't know. It's green. <laughs> it's green. Oh, they have cards here. Uh, okay, ladies first. All right, what is your most terrible memory? Ah, uh, mm, I would have to say going to high school. <laughs> Definitely was something I could have lived without, but um, I think the most terrible memory for real, for real, uh, would have to be my grandmother's death. Oh, yeah, wow. that, that was... I was a little shaky for your boy, but um, other than that, yeah. And how did your grandmother die, if you don't mind me asking? Um, she had, well, first she had a stroke, was recovering, then had a stroke again, and the second stroke was like, we just could take all your bodily functions. Uh -huh. So it was, it was a little rough, but, you know, may she rest in peace, my good old grand grands. My condolences. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess it's... My turn. What is your most treasured memory? Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, why? Why this question so hard? <laughs> my most treasured memory is when I went to LA with a few of my female friends and we just had a ball. <clears> Hot <throat> girl, someone. <clears throat> Doubt it was anything like that. Because um, so we went to dance, the minister uh -huh. over there. All right, so my question is mm -hmm. Is there something that you dreamed of doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it? Ooh, ooh, okay, come for my entire life. Um, something I actually wanted to do is uh, skydive. Why? Mm -hmm. mm, I ain't do it yet. <laughs> Black people ain't meant to fly. However, <laughs> however, I am planning to do it this summer with a couple of friends. Um, awesome. You're going to do it here in Nassau? Bahamas. If not here, probably my second home, which would be uh, Orlando. Mm, so, you do have an accent. Ah, I'm on the culture. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe I will bring you along and you can get to see me scream. We're not going to record it, of course. So. <laughs> bring me along so quickly. You just need me. The more the merrier. L O L. Yeah, you moving too fast for me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> your question. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, if you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? You gonna answer it first, or I have to answer uh, it? Uh, rock paper scissors first. shoot. We figure out who go first. I throw paper. What you throw? I nah, throw scissors. <laughs> Oh, you lost. You lost. I throw scissors. You took too long answer. I'm victorious. I'm the different. Your turn. Um, 
the way that I was raised, I would probably say growing up in a two-parent home. Well, I grew up in a single-parent home, so I would prefer to grow up in a two-parent home. Yeah, with both my mom and dad. My dad died when in 2006. So, yeah. My condolences. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, for me, I think I'd, I'd probably change the way me and my old mom would enter her. If I could. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Totally. <laughs> All right. These questions. So, it's my turn. Wow, that's crazy. Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I think I have the answer first and then you yeah. reply. Well, you'll give an answer after. I um, I think periodically for me, the embarrassing moment is because I am in customer service. You know, if a person come up to you and be like, hey, good, good afternoon, how can I assist? Or whatever. And let me see how I can put this. Let me see. Okay, let's just say you go to a restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. And the person, the waiter, not the waiter, the person that gives you your food, because you're doing takeout at the moment, the person that gives you your food says, okay, your receipt is in the bag. And then I then reply, you too, have a good day. I feel like that's very embarrassing to me personally. <laughs> that right there is just like, oh my uh, God, why should I just say that? Did I not listen to what she said? The waiter brings you your food, enjoy your food, you too. I right? <laughs> what food you see? I feel. I feel. Exactly. I feel. Exactly. That's very embarrassing. Um, All right. Um, How about you? I, I have several because I was a adventure child and adventure tends to lean to both Good and bad, but uh, the least most embarrassing, but also still pretty embarrassing. I got lost in Kelly's there. I said it. Kelly's? I, listen, I was like, I was like four or five. I don't know, but all I know is two family members walk into mall. I walk behind them. I lose them. Instantly start panicking. Like, ah, well, this is how I die. Someone's going to steal me. I don't like, I go looking around. And I'm like, can't find them. Can't, okay, what what to do? Well, what does a scared four or five year old do? We cry. We cry. I sat down on the stairs and cried. Police officer came over to me and was like, son, what's the problem? I was like, I don't just sleep. I lose my family. So I just could sit there and cry until someone helped me. And he was like, let's go find them. They open up the intercom, hey, so and so. Your grandson is here and they come running and I'm like I'm about to be hugged because I'm in trauma I get slapped and said I just get <laughs> you know Caribbean family wait where you been ah okay officer I'd like to now report abuse in the fourth degree but yes that's crazy yes that was my most embarrassing crying at Kelly's you were only four or five so you know it's now, every time you get lost at Kelly's at the age of 22, then I'll be like, nah. First of all, stop. Kelly's is still a big place. And I don't... <laughs> okay. What would constitute a perfect day for you? Oof. <laughs> you say food? No, I said oof. Oh. oof the expression. <laughs> um, honestly, it would be... I never do a picnic before. Like wow, do you I, know? I was just thinking that in my like, head, I literally, was, <laughs> and I was, I was saying, "Motto was a perfect day will be a picnic." Yeah, I want to try it. I tried it once, didn't go too well because of, but we ain't getting that that. <laughs> but um, I definitely want to do it again. Uh, a perfect day to me would just be, I guess, being with whoever that significant other is. I think just being with them around and making sure they're good, they're happy, laughing, etc. That's 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 it for me. That's awesome. I love to hear it. <laughs> um, all right. Unfortunately, we're going to have to stop you both right now. Oh, okay. And we really want to know, based off the answers you heard the other person give, based off the energy you feel right now in the room, do you feel like you would go out on a date with this person? I don't think the answer. <laughs> oh, Anyone? I, I do. I, he's... He is... His personality seems really good. Um, he's a great communicator. So
So yeah, why not? Why not give it a try? You know. I agree. I I would too <laughs> as well. Love to take this lovely green silhouette onto a tape. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, we shall reveal you guys. One All of a sudden. Up. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting, I was getting so comfortable. I don't know where I'm ready. I don't even know where I, my heart beat in. So like, <laughs> <laughs> we got comfortable to the to the mystery. They're doing it slow, right? Oh my god, that's so interesting. Y'all just boosting the anxiety up. Y'all are tough. Mm, I think they're ready. I think they're ready. I'm not feeling ready. Oh. Y'all doing this? Y'all really do? Y'all cliffhanger? Oh. I don't know. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, y'all need to I'll pull the table back. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. I am awesome. How are you? I'm doing well. Finally nice to see your face. Uh -huh. As it is the same. <laughs> okay, is this person was you envisioned in your mind when you no. heard them speaking? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I was like I was there, I was in there though. I was close, but I was I was still far out. That is completely fine because you both agreed to go out on a date, which on behalf of Tough, we are going to sponsor you with a lovely meal. And then just because, you know, we really just wanna hammer in there that we believe that this is a true connection. We have done some buttons for you guys. Okay, because we <laughs> at the end of the day, we are tough helps you to find your movie. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Chuck, for helping me find my movie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah.